Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. Today we're going to do a video answering some questions that y'all have asked and we put out a video about a week ago saying if you have any um, questions and just leave them in the comments or go to our Instagram and leave questions and we got a few questions and I'm going to try to answer those. I know we've had some other questions on some other videos and um, to be honest with you, I didn't take time to look through those, so I'm just doing the ones that were submitted on our YouTube short from last week or on Instagram. So if we do this again, um, make sure you go to our Instagram or <clears throat> the video we ask for questions and do that. Otherwise, I may not be able to find them. So um, let's go through the questions here. First question is from Caleb. What is it like doing your own tractor show? So what is it like having our own tractor um, channel on YouTube? It is, um, it's honestly pretty cool. It's a pretty neat um, thing. We started this just because uh, kind of the thought of there's not a lot, at least back when we started, there wasn't a lot of videos on current releases, doing reviews, getting a look at a current um, toys in 1 to 64 scale to see if you really wanted to buy it or not. And the other thought behind it was we've got all these tractors sitting in here and like five people have ever seen them all at that time. So it's kind of like it's a shame to have this many cool toys and nobody get to see it. It's just kind of a way for us to share with other people and kind of connect with people with like interest. <clears throat> and so it's been good. It's been a fun journey. I think we started it in 2018 in December. Um, so we've been at it for a few years and it's fun um, and we enjoy it. That's the reason we do it. The only reason we do this is just because we enjoy doing it. And so um, if you, you know, I encourage others, if you want to start, just jump into it, see how it goes. So that's first question. Uh, next question, um, what is your favorite 164 farm toy? And that is by me. Um, I just submitted that to get it, this thing going. So I guess long time favorite would be S690 Authentics, um, opening rear door, um, ladder moves, door opens, mirrors fold, feeder house raises and lowers. Uh, a lot of detail it came with a 16 row corn head, 40 foot draper. So if I was gonna go with a stock toy, that'd be it. Um, other than that, Though my favorite is probably changing. Um, got some other stuff, customs that I've been working on that'll probably become my favorite as they get ironed out, though. So, if I'm being honest, my favorite will probably end up being some custom stuff. Um, kind of sort of like something like this or other customs we're working on. So, um, let's see. Next question. Favorite non-1-64 to scale tractor? Easy one for me, at least in our collection, WA-17. Uh, this would be my favorite non-1-64 in my collection. Now, if I was going to just say favorite non-1-64 toy that I've ever seen, um, probably go to Big Bud 747 in 1-16 to scale. That would be pretty cool to own. But um, but in our collection, definitely this WA-17. Next, are there any 1-64 barns with haylofts and a lower floor? And that's from Lego Cole. So was the question before, also from him. Uh, I'm sure there is. Ertl does not make any, but um, I'm sure you can get custom ones. Uh, they do tend to get pricey though when you're getting custom ones and then you can always try to build one yourself as well next question from okay farm toys dudes alice 6275 said do you have any in real life tractors or any in real life restra um, restorations so um, my dad has a massey ferguson 231s i'll try to put a picture or in here and then i've got a massey ferguson 1010 which is kind of not really a tractor, but is what it is. Um, but that's it. That's all we have in real life that is in our family, um, our immediate family. So 
Um, next question. Do you have any Olivers interrogators in 1 to 64? And that's from Crailfan78. So yeah, interrogators. Um, we have zero Olivers that I'm aware of. Interrogators, we've got 8301 with the spray booms, um, liquid spray tank and spray booms. 8301 with the dry fertilizer air booms. 8301 custom spinner box, uh, new leader spinner box on the back of that. And then we've got the Speccast um, TG 8300B Terrigator from Agco. And then we've got the Black Beauty TG 8300B. And both those have the air booms. I would like to get another one of these and put the dry um, fertilizer spinner box on one of these as well. So that is the interrogators that we have. Also talking about favorite farm toys, those interrogators are definitely towards the top of my list. Uh, next. What do you guys collect besides farm die cast? Hot Wheels, sports cards, Sports cards or NASCAR collectibles. Um, so when we were younger, we bought a lot of Hot Wheels. Um, I don't know if you'd call it collecting. A lot of Hot Wheels, but we didn't really collect them. We played with them a lot. A lot of them are um, beat up and stuff. So we still got them. Um, they're just kind of put away somewhere. We don't really buy any anymore. Hadn't bought any in years. But at one time, yeah, we were big into Hot Wheels. And then um, as we had more money available we kind of got more into farm toys but hot wheels early on because they were so cheap um sports cards never heavily got into that we have a few uh nascar stuff when we were into hot wheels we did buy some nascars at one point um just the one to 64 ones not the big ones um but other than that as far as collecting stuff uh i guess lawnmowers <laughs> we got a few lawnmowers but not really collection just because we I don't know. We got more than we need, but we got a bunch of lawnmowers. Um, yeah, we don't really collect anything else. Uh, that's that's about it. Um, I do like hunting, so I do like collecting deer antlers, I guess, as well. Um, <clears throat> next, number next. Oh, and that question was from Darren Lee seventy three. Um, Oliver Farm seventy eight ten said, "How long have you been playing and modifying farm toys?" So we've been playing with farm toys since as long as I can remember, to some degree. We started acquiring more, um, maybe 15 years ago, but then around 12 years ago was when I'd say we started collecting. And then modifying probably only the last six to seven years i've been actually modifying some stuff so uh, for a while we didn't modify anything we just kept everything stock but then um after we kind of acquired quite a few i decided well what's the worst that could happen if i ruin one i just go replace it so then i started modifying all right number next um from fields of gold one 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 why do you keep quitting um, in reference to our videos? Sometimes we do have long periods of time between them. And the main thing that that comes from is just the fact that we, um, life gets busy, we get busy, and this kind of goes on the back burner. Like I said earlier, this is just a hobby. We just do this for fun. Um, and so sometimes we just don't get around to it. And so, um, we try not to take long, long pauses, but sometimes you kind of just need a break. And then that way um, you don't, it doesn't become something that you don't want to do. You know, that's one thing. We don't want it to be feel forced or that we have to do it. So sometimes breaks are needed to just keep it fresh. So next, this is from Train Brain 3169 Worst 1 to 64 Farm Toy. So this was kind of difficult. For me, I just kind of narrowed it down to farm toys in my collection. Don't want to speak on something I don't have. Um, and there's been quite a few things I've been aggravated and frustrated with over the years. And 
I don't want to make anybody mad with this, but um, I kind of narrowed it down to two, and I like both of these, but I also despise a certain aspect of both of these, and that is the John Deere 9410R, and then the new 715 Quad Track, and both of them literally just do not articulate, and um, like, 9410R, I remember, and the reason I'm putting this one in here, early on when we started collecting, I was so excited to buy this toy, and then I bought it, and I still remember the feeling of disappointment when I opened it, and I was like, this thing doesn't articulate. I thought something was wrong with it, and I just felt like, terrible. I was so excited about it, and then it just kind of killed my excitement. And then this 715, I mean, we waited on this for a while, it's 2024 and we still can't get the stupid four-wheel drive to articulate. Like, that shouldn't be happening anymore. It shouldn't be a problem we deal with, but we do. And so, like I said, I like this, but for $35, it should articulate. Um, that being said, I still think they're two great toys to have in your collection. Um, I just am currently frustrated at that. If you ask me that same question in a month from now, it'll probably be something different. But that's where I'm at right now. I've just been, this has reminded me of my frustration on the Ertl farm toys that are four wheel drive tractors that don't articulate like they're supposed to. Um, last question we have for this video from Simmer Model Farms is how do you make the front axle turn on the 8R410? So that is this right here, a uh, custom 8R410 we made. And you can see the front axle turns and that is actually a 3d printed axle that i got from jason at for the love of tractor several years back he gave me a few of them and i had one laying around and i wanted to do something custom on this 8r410 and i took out the old axle put this one on there and put some tires i got off ebay on there and it does look really sharp and turns real nice so um that's how i got that to do that wasn't anything I did. Um, I just put that front end axle. Um, I had to paint the axle and put a little piece of metal that connects both sides. That way they turn together. Um, but that's how I got that to happen. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this answers your questions. And um, if you got any comments, leave them down below. I'd like to hear y'all's take on some of these questions. What do you think is the worst 164 farm toy? Which one do you think is the best? Anyways, let me know in the comments. Have a good day.